Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up from the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. My friend Marissa from Sephora here in Fargo inside JCPenney was so nice and she gave me the coupon code so I could shop online. So I definitely did some damage and wanted to show you guys what I picked up because you guys might want to pick some of this up. With the VIB sale coming along, it was nice to be able to shop early just because I'll be able to test some of these products. Some of this stuff is new to me, some brands I've never tried before, so I'm so excited to have the opportunity to play with this stuff and then I can let you know my thoughts. If you guys want to shoot me a DM on Instagram or comment down below, I can quickly let you know what I think of some of these products. So it's very exciting stuff. I also have three other videos I filmed for the Sephora sale. I will have a playlist down below so you can check some of those out. But I basically did a haul revisited from the sale from April and I went over everything I bought in that sale and told you whether I regret buying those things or I'm glad I bought those things. I also did a recommendations video just going around my collection and telling you guys what I think you definitely need to pick up during the sale. I also have a video talking about what's on my loves list, so if I'm planning on picking up anything else as well. So, lots of exciting stuff happening during the sale. So many good recommendation videos are going up. I personally love to watch those videos because I get ideas of things I might also want to pick up and stock up on. So yeah, it's definitely the most wonderful time of the year if you are a Sephora fan. Really quick though, I do want to mention there is an active giveaway live on my channel right now. It ends November 30th. I'm giving away a little My Little Pony palette. Just want to say thank you to you guys for checking out my videos and subscribing to my channel. So if you want to enter that, I will link that down below as well. So go check out that video and enter to win the My Little Pony palette. Also, if you're new, welcome. My name is Karen. I like to make beauty videos and I usually upload every other day. So you do get quite a bit of content from me. If you're interested, definitely go ahead and subscribe down below so you can um, stay tuned for future videos. Anyway, let's get into this haul. I've got so many good things. I'm so excited. That was weird. Okay, so I'm so excited. Let's get into it. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you guys. It's actually one of the lip colors I'm wearing on my lips right now. So I've had this on for about an hour and it's going so well so far. So comfortable. I can't even feel that I have these on. But this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain Set and you get four little tiny lippies in this guy. I was just really excited to pick this up. I wanted to buy this in the last sale. They had a set like this. I don't know if it was during holiday, but I didn't end up buying it because God knows I don't need anything to be honest. But um, I tried really hard to hold off, but I constantly get DMs about how good this formula is. So I was like, you know what, it's $12 because the full size is $14. And I was like, I'm never going to make it through a full size lipstick realistically. But I could try out the formula and have four different shades for $12. So I picked this up. I think this is so adorable. What a great stocking stuffer. If you have friends that are just trying to get into liquid lipsticks, I would totally recommend picking this up. This is so comfortable, you guys. I honestly can't even feel it. And it's so opaque and the applicator is really nice too. So I may pick up some full size ones uh, now that I've tr tried out the formula. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think you guys should definitely pick this up during the VIB sale. So you get 20% off 12 bucks. I mean, really, that's a steal. Next thing I picked up is one of these Sephora favorites. Now, I don't buy a lot of these because if you guys have watched my channel for a long time, I personally hate sample sizes of things. I just feel like it clutters up. It's hard for me to keep track. So I really like to avoid samples like the plague. But this one I thought was a good deal. So on here it says it's $48 but has $132 value. Now, there's three full-size products in here. The Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, which I've been meaning to try. The Samantha Lashes by Huda, which I actually have a pair of these. These are the lashes I wore on my wedding day. And then the Roller Lash by Benefit, which I already know I really like. So these two products on their own cost about $40, and the Urban Decay Mascara is about $20. So those full sizes are the equivalent of $60. So your anything extra, like the samples, I feel like, basically are extra deals like free kind of i love mascaras and you know they only last up to about three months of the year so you're supposed to switch out your mascara every three months so i feel like if you buy this set you should have enough mascara for the entire year and i am so so pumped to 
play with this and I'm just glad that it is in my collection. Next thing I want to show you guys, this is always in my recommendations. I love these little foot masks from Sephora. I like to use them in between pedicures. I have really dry feet. I also live in a really dry climate. So to combat all of that, I like to wear these overnight. They are enriched with almond extract, nourish dry feet, soften rough areas, and make skin supple. These are the almond foot masks. And I feel like these are for holiday because they have this really cute pink packaging with the rose gold. So adorable. I just picked up five of these and these will last me a good amount of time. Okay, next two items I picked up are hair items. This is the Verb Ghost Oil and this is a smoothing Moringa blend for weightless hair. And I was really interested in this because it had really good ratings on Sephora.com and basically it says... Verb Ghost Oil is a vanishing daily restorative oil that revitalizes hair from roots to ends. This integrated Moringa oil blend enriches the hair shaft with essential nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promote radiant shine for all hair types. So yeah, like I said, I saw a lot of really good reviews on this. I have been using coconut oil once a week in my hair and honestly guys, I have seen a difference in my hair. My hair feels less oily um, because I think hair is kind of like your skin. The oilier your skin is, the drier it actually is because your your skin is overproducing oil to compensate for how dry it is. So I have dry skin and oily hair. My hair gets so, so greasy. And what I realized was it was because I wasn't taking care of my hair. I wasn't giving it enough oil. When I was a little girl, my mom would always take care of my hair and give me like oil baths and like massage my scalp for me. And I haven't done that in years. So I finally decided I needed to take care of it and get into a routine. So every Saturday in the morning, usually I'll put some, you know, coconut oil, some heated up coconut oil in my roots and just kind of massage it into my scalp. Two weeks in a row so far and I felt such a big difference in my hair. So that's my little hair care tip for you guys if you're interested. The other item I picked up was the Way Memory Mist. I'm so excited to have this. This brand is owned by Jen Atkins and she actually does the Kardashians hair if any of you know that fun fact. So this is a multitasking priming spray. Adds heat protection, shine, and long lasting memory to any look. Curls and blowouts inclu included. Using a one-of-a-kind formula, the lightweight spray memorizes your hair shape and texture until your next shampoo. So next item I picked up is this little Tarte brush set. I'm so excited to play with this guy. Tarte has two brush sets out for the holidays. There's this one and then there's another one I had featured in another haul video. It's the same kind of handles and stuff, but the brushes are different. And I've been using some of those brushes and they're really nice quality and really well made. I actually like these ones better than the unicorn ones because they don't have those like high maintenance handles. And the bristles on these are like extremely soft and wonderful. So I thought, you know, while I was getting a discount, I might as well pick these up. And yeah, I'm excited to have these. Okay, so this was picked up on recommendation from Nicole from Young, Wild & Polished. If you guys watch her, she's here on YouTube. She is also on Snapchat all the time. I love watching her talk about new products, but this is the Locket Makeup Setting Spray, and she talks a lot about how long her makeup lasts when she uses this, and it's like one of her favorite setting sprays. Okay, another item I picked up is this guy. I've been waiting forever to buy this, and this is the Marc Jacobs Scandalous Eyeshadow Palette. I tried to swatch this earlier and kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's so pretty. These colors just like speak to me on a personal level. This palette reminds me so much of the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain, so I'm not really sure I need this one as well but I've never tried any of the Marc Jacobs eyeshadows so I was like you know what now that the sale is here it's like the perfect time to try this and so I finally grabbed it because I would always swatch this in store at Sephora but then I never wanted to buy it because I felt like these came out a while ago and I was like well I'm not in like a hurry to review it or anything so I don't need to like buy it for full price when I can get it for 20% off. So. Next item, you guys saw me talking about this on Instagram stories if you follow me on Instagram. This is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Highlighter and I got the shade Macchiato. I feel like this is a little bit too light for me but I feel like I'm making it work like looking in the viewfinder I can't tell that it's too light. So can you guys let me know do you feel like it's too light on me? I feel like it's okay like I don't need to exchange this for another color, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to get some of my girlfriend's opinions. But yeah, I really like this so far. I thought it went on really well. And I did my makeup at, 
like 7 this morning and it's 6 57 p.m. I think I'm gonna really like it I think it's like a full coverage foundation this is plastic uh, Kathleen lights recently talked about it and she said it was kind of cool that it was plastic because she knew she wasn't gonna break it and next item I got is this cute little lipstick this is from Pat McGrath Labs and this is a nude shade I believe it's called the matte trance 015 full panic and I believe I got the shade is it full panic because I thought I bought 1995 but I could be wrong so anyway it is the same as the eyeshadow packaging and so this is what the actual bullet looks like and it's nice and weighted it definitely feels really well made this is what the color looks like it's a very beautiful matte 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 nude shade I kind of want to put it on but I'm not going to it's so luxurious looking oh my gosh there is that I had convinced myself I wasn't gonna buy one of these lipsticks because I bought the eyeshadow palettes and God knows those cost an arm and a leg. But the eyeshadow palettes were such good quality. I was like, I'm going to splurge on just one lipstick and see if it's worth the hype. So I'm going to blame this on Kat. Because she's like, oh, I'm surprised you didn't buy any of the Pat McGrath lipsticks. So here you go, Kat. Thank you for helping me spend my money. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's great. If you guys haven't checked out Kat's channel, I will go ahead and link it down below. Next item. This has been all over the internet for so many years. This is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and this is like the colorful one. I don't know. I think it was like Halloween that made me buy this because I was like, ooh, if I have the Flash Palette, I can do fun like makeup tutorials for Halloween. Probably next year, guys, because... I don't really have any like artistic skills when it comes to drawing like some people can just like look at something and like recreate it I don't have those kinds of skills um, but I want to like experiment and see if I can do some cool Halloween looks next year so I have the flash palette let me know if you guys have this and if it's worth the price I personally am not sure how to use this because I'm gonna have to watch some YouTube tutorials and stuff just to get ideas but this was definitely not cheap, so if I don't need this, I'm returning it. This is the Sephora Outrageous Effect Volume Plump Effect in Nude. This comes in four shades, I believe, and I remember when this first launched on Sephora's website, I was really curious to get it because I thought the packaging was super cute, but I didn't because I'm not really a gloss person, but I've heard so many people say really good things about these lip glosses, so I was like, I'll get one shade and try it out, so... I picked the shade Nude. Another little kit I picked up from the Friends and Family sale is this one by Laneige. Now this has two products. It's the Good Night Kit and this has a water sleeping mask and the lip sleeping mask. Now recently Kathleen Lights talked about the lip sleeping mask and talked about how good it was and I think pretty much everyone ran to Sephora and picked it up. So I thought this kit was a really good way to try out the product because it is 20 bucks and you get two little products. And if I like the lip kit, I think I'll get it in the full size, but honestly, it's gonna take me so long to get through this. So I just thought this would be a fun way for me to try two things instead of one. I do have their moisturizer. I got it from Influencer to try out. And I really like this brand. It's a Korean skincare brand. So if you're looking for other face products, I would definitely recommend you guys checking out Laneige. Okay guys, this little item I picked up for my hubby. He told me he didn't want me to buy this for him, but I figured I would just have it on hand in case he decided he wanted it. But this is a perfume by John Varvatos and it's called Artisan. And so it was nice to get a little bit of a discount on this because it's a great time to pick up perfume. You guys are gonna see that in every recommendations video saying like pick up a fragrance, pick up a fragrance, pick up a fragrance because it's just a good time to buy fragrances. And so I got him the gift set and it comes with like a little makeup bag and stuff. So I'm gonna save this in my emergency pile in case I can't figure out what else to get him for Christmas. But yeah, that was, it was nice to get a little discount on it. So there were a few items that were like big ticket items that I picked up during the friends and family sale because I had been like waiting to buy them. You know what I mean? So that's a little tip in case you guys are, this is like the first VIB video you watched this year. Now, this I picked up as part of my hair care routine. This is the mini tidy detangling comb by Sephora brand. Honestly, I thought this was going to be bigger than this. I was going to use this to like brush my hair 
once I put the oil in it because it's plastic and it will be easy to wash but I was honestly hoping for something a little bit bigger I don't know if this is gonna work for me or not maybe I'll try it before I return it but I was really hoping it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this okay I want to show you guys this item really quick this is a $250 perk right now with Sephora and I saw somebody else talking about this and I was like that's cool I should mention that because Sometimes you just kind of forget to pick up these perks using my points to pick up minis like I wish they would do more things like this because if you want you can even gift this to someone and it's like a really substantial gift you know so this is a little beauty insider 250 point perk and it just says wake up to makeup so it's like a little tray you could store like lipsticks in here some jewelry maybe like your wedding ring some special sentimental pieces and it comes very nicely like bubble wrapped and in this really cute box as well if you've been saving up some Sephora points this could be a really cute stocking stuffer or something like that so Keep in mind, check out those perk points and see if there's anything available that you like. Okay, another thing I was really, really excited for and I was holding out for the sale is this Milk Makeup Set. I've always wanted to try the cooling water stick, so I'm so excited. I just thought this would be a good deal and I picked it up. So it comes with six milk sticks. There's a holographic stick, a glitter stick, a highlighter lit a matte bronzer and a blur stick and a cooling water. These are a lot smaller than I thought, but look at this packaging. Like, are you kidding me? It's like super holo and really, really cute. This is the Tweezerman Studio Collection exclusively for Sephora and it's a mini nail rescue kit. I have one of these that I keep in my master bathroom upstairs and I just use it all the time to clip my nails there's a really great cuticle trimmer in here as well as like a little scoopy thing just super handy we love this and I just bought one for my purse okay this is really exciting I've wanted this collection so many times over the holidays this is the Laura Mercier holiday caviar sticks eye color collection these come out every year and I never get them so this year I was like you know what I just need to do it because I'm so curious about these things. People rave about these caviar sticks and it's supposed to be like a really nice eyeshadow base. And I just thought, you know, instead of buying one, this is a great way for me to try multiple colors. So here is like a champagne one. I'm not really into like cream, you know, eyeshadow sticks and stuff like that, but I'm always willing to try new things. So I'm really, really excited. Maybe I can do like an eye look with these or something like that, but there's really cute shades and yeah i'm i'm really excited to have this 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 is the new huda beauty nude love collection liquid matte minis i was so excited when i saw this because there's one shade in here that i wanted it's called girlfriend and then i don't have any of these other shades i have like four minis from the huda beauty liquid line and I'm so excited that I got four more because these are perfect for me. I, like I said, I'm never going to go through a whole, you know, liquid lipstick. So this is a really great way for me to have different options. So, okay, here is something very exciting. I wanted to pick up another highlighter from Fenty Beauty. I actually picked up Trophy Wife. And then I heard people talking about this. This is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Now keep in mind, I haven't done my Fenty Beauty review yet, so I thought I'd wait and try out this highlighter as well. This looks like a white, but honestly, there is like a huge shift on this packaging. It's so adorable. I'm trying to get it open so I can show you the colors. It's like a rosy pink highlighter. Like how cute is that? Let's swatch this. Oh my gosh, I just, I just love, love. Ooh, so soft. Okay, so there are the two shades. Ooh. So one is like more subtle and one is more like glittery. Okay, so here is something I wanted to show you guys. This is a little kit as well. I picked up from the brand called Sol de Janeiro. It's so cute. Do you guys see it? It's made like a little suitcase. So this is the Bum Bum Beauty Voyage Carry On Ready like little set. And I actually bought this, most people would probably say they bought this with a bum bum cream, but I actually bought this because I really wanted to smell the scent because everyone says it's like a very suntan lotion scent. And if you guys know anything about me, I'm like obsessed with the summertime and like suntan lotion scents. Like that Moschino scent smells straight up like suntan lotion and I freaking love it. Like cannot get enough of it. So let's go ahead and open this up so we can spray it but this is what it looks like and I feel like you get a ton of product 
for the price you pay because I don't want to buy the full size of this. So let me spray it. Oh my, oh my God. This smells so good. Holy shit. I just went back to the summer. This is, oh, <laughs> it smells so yummy, you guys. And then I did try a sample of the Bum Bum Cream. Granted, I did think it was really nice. I do think it's a little bit overpriced for like body lotion. And I've seen people buy like containers full of this stuff because it's so addicting and it has a beautiful scent. But it's nice and little and compact. So yeah, maybe I'll save this for next summer. Right? Rio is totally on my bucket list, guys. So if you guys are from Brazil, give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. Because I was actually thinking the other day, I was like, I wonder where all my subscribers are from. Like, that would be really cool to know. So if you guys are okay with sharing, let me know if you're from another country because that's really freaking cool. This is another fragrance that I had my eye on forever, but I refuse to pay full price for fragrance because I always just stock up during the sale. So this is a Chanel fragrance, and I don't think I've ever bought any other Chanel fragrance, but this is what the box looks like, and it's 3.4 fluid ounces. And so I was like, I wanted the green one because that was the scent I was really into. I don't really like floral, I like really fresh. So if you think of my like favorite fragrances, I would say like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, Versace Bright Crystal, Love the Moschino scent that's in this bear. Okay guys, next items I got are foundations as well. I caved and bought something Too Faced. I feel like this is a monumental moment, but if I don't like this, I'm gonna return this with a swiftness. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream, medium coverage, and 1.6 fluid ounces. So again, Nicole from Young, Wild & Polished has been raving about how this is the best foundation ever, there's no other foundation for her, etc, etc. So I was like, fine, I'll fucking buy the foundation. And this is in the same packaging, I believe, as their Hangover Primer, I think. And I don't particularly like this packaging because I feel like it's so hard to get the product out. So we'll see. I'm going to try it. I don't even know if this is like the right shade for me. The other one I bought is this one. I've had my eye on this forever. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage in Olive. I've tried the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation and I really liked it. It's so beautiful. If you have dry skin, like really, really, really dry skin, you're really, really, really going to like it. But this one is full coverage and me, I love full coverage. So I've had my eye on this forever and I was like, you know what, I'll just wait for the sale because I really don't need another foundation. Incy Wincy Spider Tiny, but this is the brow liner from Makeup Forever and she says she really likes this. So I picked up the shade 5-0, which is, I don't even know, it doesn't even say, but basically this is like an eyeliner, but it's for your brows, so you can do like little brow strokes and basically like draw your brows on. So I'm really, really excited to have this and try it out. I think it's pretty innovative. Speaking of brows, I did pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow stencils. I thought this would actually be really handy for when I'm doing clients because God did bless me with decently shaped brows, but everyone doesn't have that same luck. I picked this up for my freelance kit, so I'm really excited to give some people some bold ass brows this yes. year. Last item is the Pat McGrath eyeliner. I never thought I would buy one of these. It's so freaking bougie, but again, I had such good luck with the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and I was so so impressed with the quality that I decided to splurge on her eyeliner thinking it was also going to be really good quality so I just got the black shade it comes with this little pencil sharpener which is kind of weird but whatever so yeah it's pretty black I'm excited but I'm scared because it's so soft like oh yeah the tip is definitely broken so that's kind of a bummer because that's what's like like 50 cents <laughs> hanging out there. Look at this. Like what, what kind of janky shit is Sephora sending out? So I picked up another Too Faced glitter glue. They also make really good glitter glue and I have really been using this a lot with my Pat McGrath, ColourPop. I honestly use this every time I use a foiled eyeshadow now because it just feels like it makes everything last so much longer. These were like, you know, restocks. I bought two of the clear brow gels because I actually really like to use these to tame my baby hairs. It's better than hair gel because I don't feel like it's crunchy and it just does the job. It just like holds them down all day and 
So I really like these guys. Plus they're really good for your brows. I use this religiously every day. It's definitely an essential. I try less expensive brow products, but none of them really work for me. So if you're on the hunt for a nice brow gel and you want something to tame those brows, I would 100% recommend this stuff for you guys. First. So this is a Sephora Pro brush. This is the crease brush in number 10. This was on sale, so I was like, you know what, I'll buy it. So I'm like, you know what, maybe you should invest in some better brushes, especially because I'm like trying to, you know, get better at makeup and things like that. So I bought this guy. This was on sale for like 11 bucks, and so with the 20% off, I thought, hey, you know, that's a pretty good deal. And these brushes are so nice. Like, look at this packaging. Like okay, a last item I picked up from the friends and family sale is the Rihanna lip gloss. This is called Fenty Glow and I've just heard so many good things about this lip gloss and this shade so I'm really really excited to play with this guy and just have it in my collection and keep it in my purse. Look at this doe foot. This is like the size of the Clinique doe foot in their foundation but that is the shade. It's nice and glossy and very very beautiful so Super excited to have that. Okay guys, before I end this video, I wanna show you a few things I did pick up from Macy's. They did have their MAC brushes for half off, so I picked up some brushes. They were being really shady though because I think they oversold and so I didn't end up getting most of the brushes I picked up. I picked up about six brushes and I only got three. So I got the MAC 252, I got the MAC 224, and then this is the MAC 213. So I'm excited, again, trying to get some nicer brushes up in my makeup brush collection. And everyone is always talking about how good the MAC brushes are, so I decided to go ahead and pick those up. Then I also decided to get some things from the holiday collection, uh, the MAC the MAC holiday collection. So I was lucky enough to get Stylishly Merry, which is that beautiful like duo chrome shade that everyone is dying over. Oh my gosh, this reminds me so much, so much of the Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I really don't want to swatch it because it's so beautiful and the, the snowflake is so pretty. A highlighter as well. I wasn't going to but this packaging was too beautiful so I decided to grab one of the highlighters and this is Happy Go Dazzlingly. Macy's was doing like a 10 days of beauty sale or something and the Benefit blushes were on sale. You guys know I'm not really a big fan of Benefit anything, but this shade did kind of call to me when it first came out. This is Californication. Look at this packaging, you guys. Like, I mean, how can you not? And it was on sale for like 14 bucks. So I was like, well, now is the time to try it. I don't really like any of Benefit's like powder box products because they have just never been good, but I like the shade and what it represents. So I figured I would buy it and test it out. And if it didn't work out, I was going to return it, of course. But yeah, it's so cute. How cute is that? Okay, guys, that is everything I got from the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. Hopefully this gave you some ideas of things you might want to pick up during the VIB and the VIB Rouge Sale. I'm so excited. I feel like there's a few more things I might want. Even though there's nothing I really need, I feel like I definitely stocked up on all the items that I had been lusting for over the last couple of months. There are some things, guys, even though it seems like I buy a lot of makeup and I'm definitely like a spur of the moment shopper, I definitely had been on like a waiting list for some of these items, especially like this guy right here. I was like, you know, I can wait for a sale. So I did do that. I did show some restraint. So I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I had mentioned in the intro, I will have a playlist of some of the VIB sale videos that I've done so you guys can check those out. Also, there is a giveaway active on my channel right now, so go ahead and enter down below. And I don't think I have anything else I wanna tell you guys about, so have a great day, guys. Happy shopping. Let me know how your sale haul turns out. If you guys are YouTubers and you've filmed recommendation videos, definitely link them down below so I can check them out because I would love to get some ideas from you guys on what's in your shopping list. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye guys.